honorable members who protested with placards here, I want to ask, did they write letters to their own finance ministers to say, hey, what are you doing? Why did you not take this up in GST Council? Much before I go to Delhi and scream about it, I want you as a representative of my party running this government in this state to make sure that the GST Council will only take a decision which we want. What stopped any one of them to do that there? My Mera Hissa, another 50 percent. Usme Se B, 41 percent is given, meaning some 21 rupees, 0, 9, whatever, let us say, rounded to 21 only, if not 22. 50 plus 21, 71 rupees aapke haath mein rakke huye. Either baat kar rahi ho, Modi, center, 24,000, le liya aapne, medical insurance. Let us have some. I don't know if I'm using the right word. Sabar rakke, right? Thoda sabar rakke ji. Adhyayin karo ji. Uske baat ka baat karo ji, mein jawaab deti ho. Arre, aakash mein se uda de number. और GST का GST का allocation किस तरीके से होता है इसको समझना चाहिए सीधा इधर आपके ही finance minister को bypass करते हुए पूरा parliament के ऊपर हमला parliament cannot bypass GST council and say आ अच्छा they also then some people come saying bring in this finance bill an amendment that this 18 percent will be brought down constitutional impropriety there is a gst council unka nirnay karne wale wo subject ke upar ab idhar karne ke liye aa rahe ho bhai i had to say this and i will say it before gst 2 medical insurance premiums were taxed i have quite a few voices which tell me oh so are you saying it was there then and you won't do anything about it no but i need to answer those issues which pretend to believe that it is all the sin which has come after GST has come in. I'm sorry, sir. It existed before GST. Let's address each one of the issues. I'm not here to justify this way or that way. Let the GST council take a call now that they've heard all of us speak about it. But let us also not look the other way when the facts are before us. GST came in 2017. Prior to GST coming in, every state levied taxes on the premium collected on insurance. Let's concede that first. Let's have that before us. And if it is before us, would you now say, oh, because of GST and Modi brought us, how heartless are you? I'm sorry. Hang on. Even in the GST Council after 2017, three times this issue was discussed. 31st meeting in 20, on 22nd December 2018, again, the GST Council, which is 37th meeting, which happened on 20th September 2019, and 47th meeting, which happened in June 2022, this issue has been taken up by the GST Council. And who are the members who are sitting in the GST Council, sir? The finance ministers of every state. And together, all the state's finance ministers hold two-thirds voting power in the GST Council. And the central government, with the chair, has one-third. So the decisions that are taken there are taken with inputs from every state finance minister. They can belong to any party. So my question is, honorable members who protested with placards here, I want to ask, did they write letters to their own finance ministers to say, hey, what are you doing? Why did you not take this up in GST Council? Much before I go to Delhi and scream about it, I want you as a representative of my party running this government in this state to make sure that the GST Council will only take a decision which we want. What stopped any one of them to do that there? To just make sure an opportunity which came by their side because some minister wrote a letter and somebody and somebody who was a part of the delegation 
who, without the permission of the minister, put it out in public domain. And then, with due respects, everybody comes in, inclusive of some chief ministers, to say, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm also supporting that. You should now withdraw it to the finance minister, who's a chair there, all right, but part of the GST council. I wish individual states, chief ministers, or members of parliament write to their respective finance minister and say, go now. Make sure the next GST council meeting takes this up. No, they didn't do this. Hindi mein jo bolte hain, rajneetik roti sek ne ke liye, either khade ho jao. Or oh, Nirmala Sita Raman, oh, Modi ji, ye kya tarika hai? Middle class, unke health premium ke upar ab GST collect kar rahe ho? And upar se, upar se, 25,000 crores. No, sir, I am not yielding. I heard all of them. One second. One second, one second. Upar se. One second. He has a point of order. Point of order. No. No, no, sir, he, 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 she I'll is not yielding. This. She is not yielding. Sir, Sorry. I'll finish Honor this and with your permission, she... I'll hear all of them. With your permission, I'll hear all of them once I finish this. Okay. Aadha adura nahi chahiye. I'll seek your permission, sir. Sir, if not all, those who are willing to make contribution. Yes, Otherwise, you have to hear all of them. I leave it to you, sir. Okay, okay. Sir, then there was this whole report which was based on some kind of a uh, um, uh, parliament reply or RTI or whatever, which got carried in a newspaper also. 24,529 crores have been collected. GST was collected on medical insurance. 24,000. The center pocketed it, was the headline of that news. 24,000? 24,529 crores okay. were collected as medical insurance premium. And this is pocketed by the center. Even today, honorable members, when they spoke, they said, this is daylight robbery. I heard three honorable members say, daylight robbery. I want with due respects to submit, sir. We may agree with a particular taxation. We may ab agree with a particular rate in a particular taxation which has been on a particular item, or we may not agree. But that is a constitutional body, as much as the parliament here. They have, in their wisdom, taken a call. We may agree, we may not agree. We may go and say, no, this is wrong. You will reconsider. But to call it daylight robbery, sir, in which their own finance ministers are sitting, sir. And with their signature, it has been cleared, sir. Daylight robbery. Constitution, constitutionally formed GST council may daylight ho, robbery ho rahi hai, sir. Or oh baat is sadan mein bola ja hai. I'm sorry, we need to look at what is going on. Sir, 24,529 crores have been collected. All right. 50% goes straight away to the states. The rest 50% comes to us. And the rest 50% may say, again 41% goes to the states. So, if I have to bring it down simplistically, if 100 rupees is collected, first 50 rupees goes off to the states. My mera hissa, another 50%. Us may say, B, 41% is given, meaning some 21 rupees, 0, 9, whatever, let us say, round it to 21 only, if not 22. 50 plus 21, 71 rupees aapke haath mein rakke huye. Either baat kar rahi ho, Modi, center, 24,000, le liya aapne, medical insurance. Let us have some. I don't know if I'm using the right word. Sabar rakke, right? Thoda sabar rakke ji. Adhyayin karo ji. Uske baat ka baat karo ji, mein jawaab deti ho. Arre, aakash mein se uda de number. GST ka, GST ka allocation kis tarike se hota hai, isko samajna chahiye. Seedha idhar aapke hi finance minister ko bypass karte huye, pura parliament ke upar hamla. Parliament cannot bypass GST council and say, ah, oh, acha, they also, then some people come saying, bring in this finance bill an amendment that this 18% will be brought down constitutional impropriety. There is a GST council. Unka nirnay karne wale wo subject ke upar ap idhar karne ke liye aare ho bhai. 
प्लीज थोड़ा प्रोसेस समझ रहे सर एंड आई लम्बली सबमिट सर not only are the finance ministers of every state is sitting to take the final call on every rate which is determined on items there is a fitment committee which looks into these things much before it comes to the council before the ministers the fitment committee is not made up of anybody which we choose they are officers it's full of officers but every state is represented in one way or the other sometimes some state some other self this time the current fitment committee in the gst council has members from several states and particularly from west bengal from tamil nadu from karnataka they are all there in it fitment committee which decides on the matter of tax rates before it comes to the gst council no. wherein again the minister is seated according one second according to you in this committee one second according to you in this committee the representation is or not of all states but of some selected it's always in every committee selected states selected. and equal representation and, and in the given. current one they were the members okay no current one they are members also uh, sir okay i'll give opportunity so, no I, i'll tell you on the finance minister this is an issue on which there is need to be clarity you are making a point impactfully sir and will allow members after you have concluded that you have already and said and then you will have a right that you already yes. said sir so if i have named three states it's not as if i am ignoring the others i'll give you the example current representation in the current fitment committee yes has rajasthan gujarat maharashtra bihar haryana up mp and west bengal tamil nadu and karnataka okay they are so it is not as if it is only some states and some others and this fitment committee for all you know was all, all uh, was uh, constituted much before the election results came of the states that continues we don't disrupt it sometimes it changes sometimes it doesn't so the fitment committee consisting of officers are there where every state i mean most states get represented in another committee somebody else some other states will come in. so in other words sir, i just want to say the and other misunderstanding the central government collects no the gst council collects it immediately the amounts are disbursed and the rest of the amount is according to the tax devolution it goes so that is the thing about medical insurance gst sir member tanka who opened the speech vivek tanka spoke about railway budget and since after it was merged uh, that nostalgia of a railway budget uh, i can understand that but i want to give the data for uh, vivek tanka's notice that since after the uh, subsuming of the railway budget into the main budget allocations have not suffered in fact it's gone up 2017 18 sir post the merger the actual expenditure budget uh, the capital separately is 43417.55 in 2017 18 crores 52837 crores in 1819 and so it goes in 2021 it crossed a lakh crore capital expenditure i'm not talking about the other 2022 2122 11 lakh crores something 7 lakh 72 7270 crores then 15 lakh 9256 crore going like that today for 24 25 the current budget it's 25 lakhs to 2000 crores for capital in railways alone so the actual is the previous years numbers are also there it gets 99% utilized so the uh, bringing the railway budget into the general budget has not in any way made railways suffer sir vijay sai reddy the honorable member spoke about minimum bank balance 
And when the balance, uh, minimum balance has been kept, banks have been collecting penalty from account holders. So I want this to be laid clearly, that the minimum balance requirement does not apply to PM Jan Dan account holders. It does not apply to, it does not apply to minimum basic savings bank deposit that people hold, Jandan account or the basic savings bank deposit. Both of them do not have any basic minimum balance requirement. So if they didn't have, no penalties are levied on them. No charges are applied for non-maintenance of minimum balance by the Jandan accounts. In addition, banks also open basic savings bank deposit accounts where no charges are levied for opening of accounts and in these accounts also no minimum balance is required to be maintained. Let's be clear. So not small account holders are being penalized for not having minimum balance. That should be clear. There are around 65 crore the basic savings bank account holders in this country, including of 52 crore Jandan accounts. So none of them are, 65 crores are not being touched for penalizing you didn't have minimum balance in the account. So in addition to this, the minimum, uh, the, the Jandan account holders are also given accident in insurance of 2 lakh rupees and also a rupee card with no additional charge for the rupee card. O overdraft facility of about 10,000 rupees is also extended to them. Not only are we not penalizing them for not having a minimum balance, but we also give them this facility. So for other types of saving accounts, of course the banks will decide based on what their boards approve. So they are not the basic accounts, they are not the Jandan accounts. So I just want to highlight it, but for, for whoever they collect this minimum charge breaching, meaning you didn't have a minimum balance and therefore I'm penalizing you, information on minimum balance requirement is indicated, intimated, up front to the account holder. So it's not as if I can open a non-PM Jandan account, a non-basic uh, whatever account, and then say you didn't tell me but you're collecting minimum. No. Up front, I'm told your minimum balance requirement is this. You'll have to maintain it. If you don't, we'll penalize you. It is said up, up front by the banks. The largest public sector bank, sir, State Bank of India, as per its board approved policy, does not apply any minimum balance charges at all. So let's put this in perspective.